guys, real friends here. Right, I'll come forward a bit. Right, today I'm going to go through my new and improved spiral kit. I've never shown this kit, a kit like this, on YouTube before. So this is where it sits. It stays on the belt strap. Nice new pouch, as you can see. It's part of the belt kit. Yeah, but before we go into that, um, I do have a button compass in my belt kit. And once I need to take it out and use it, it will attach to this little clip, what go is on my pacer beads. So, at the end of the day, that's where it's going to go, that's where it goes once I've used it. So, we'll go through this little kit, as you can see. It's only a small little tin. It's bigger than an Altroids tin, so I'm not going to call it an Altroids tin. Survival kit, it basically the large backy tin. Yeah, it's got that on the front. OMG at the front, it's got that at the back. Plain and simple. I haven't sealed it around. I will be doing that soon. So I'm gonna bring you down down and on the small table. So I'm gonna point the camera down so you can see it. So it's gonna be better for you guys to see. So yeah, shall we begin? I think we should. And please tell me what you think. And this is a lot different compared to a lot of people's survival kits. So I do apologize on that. I know a lot of people's gonna look at me and think I've lost it. So I'll bring you down and, and we'll see what you think. Right well, guys, this is it. As you can see, it's a lot different compared to everybody else's. It's because I like organisations. I had one before and I didn't like it. It was so unorganised. I just had to get rid of it and restart it because organisation to me is the key. And it's so much better. As you can see, on top there's a sewing kit. And one of these small foil bags, it's sealed. Like that, so it's all my sewing stuff I need is in that little pouch. There is nothing on the lid, as you can see. There is one thing missing from this kit. I'm still waiting for it to come through the post again. I've got one already. I've got one in my belt kit, as you all know, and that's my signal mirror. So I'm wanting one another one to go in this kit to make it look better. I do have one of these wire saws. I don't really like it, but it's better than nothing, just in case. I do have a candle, as you can see. As well, I do have some snare wire. I do have some strike anywhere matches. There's the button compass, it does point north. So, yeah, there's that one there. I do have some stormproof matches. There's not many in there, I think there's about five in there. Do have a small little bit of duct tape or gorilla tape, I should really say. I do have a small ferro rod. I am thinking about changing up the ferro rod to a different one to get rid of this stupid handle. I don't like handles on ferro rods, as you all know. Um, I do have another whistle in here, and in here I'm not opening it because there's no point. It's potassium permanganate, so as you all know, that does quite a bit of things. So as you can see, there's quite a bit in here. I do have some purification tablets. I do have a nice small fishing kit. There is another foil bag inside this foil bag with the hooks, the swivels, and the weights in. And the lines in, in that large one. I do have a coffee filter. Last but not least, I do have a striker for the fail rod. As you can see, that's everything I own, I have in my survival tin. So please let me know what you think. Tell me what you would you add. But remember, guys, I'm not adding mandates. I'm not adding plasters. Well, that's what we call them in the UK. I'm not adding alcohol swabs. I'm not adding anything like that because I do have my belt kit. This does go with my belt kit. So I'm going to leave it there. Tell me what you think, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.